uh, from you know Carl Duval Moore down to Highway 315. Somewhere out here, down one of these roads to the right, was a winery, and that winery did not make it, unfortunately. They had they had elderberry wine, which I'm not a big alcohol drinker. I don't drink at all, really, but. I would have tried some elderberry wine just because I heard it's really good for you. Anybody behind us? Yes. Let me just try to get a shot right through here. I don't know if you can see, but that is a a solar. They have solar panels out there. And there was a really bad fire out here, so. And that was just, what, a week ago? A week or so ago. Duval Moore State Forest. There's actually a, I think it's called Carl Duval Moore State Forest. Uh, I think they do it east and west or something, but there's another one up by town, which supposedly we've heard has like a some kind of an auditorium or stadium out there, but I don't know if that's true or not because every time we go there, the fence is locked. So this has built up tremendously. 30 years ago, this was all dirt, this road, and there were hardly any homes out here. And now it's like, filled with homes. There's a pretty lake right there, which we can kind of see because it's not completely built up on. All these lakes out here are getting built up on and you can't even see them anymore. But. Carson Avenue, by the way. Not sure if I mentioned that or not. And I guess I should start naming off some, naming off the streets out here, so that if we ever get a property request out this way, I'll know where they are. Yeah, like none of these homes were out here. That was certainly not there 30 years ago. I'm probably definitely going to do a, a two-parter on this video because I don't think I'll be able to upload. I'm right in that pocket of like 15 to 20 minutes and sometimes I'll have to edit down a 20-minute video down because sometimes I can post a 20-minute video, sometimes I can't. Again, it's one of those things I don't understand. But when you're dealing with old tech like I am, I think my laptop was produced sometime in the late 50s. So, uh, hard to deal with. I don't, know, I don't understand why the Ruderville lady, why they would do that to her for using voluntary, you know, charity to buy a home and land. It doesn't make sense unless she got the charity came from the state, which I don't believe the state would do that because they have more important things to spend their money on like potholes and 
streets that need red lights without them. But, uh, yeah, that just makes no sense to me. And she seemed like a really nice lady. I mean, I know you can't judge on, uh, you know, just meeting someone for a few minutes, but I liked her. Driver formerly known as James liked her. I think it's really good what she was doing for them animals. I mean, I know the life of a farm animal is tough and it doesn't end well. I thought it was nice that the animals she had there were catching a break anyway. You know, like that old poem about the guy on the beach with the seashells or the, uh, the starfish. And he's throwing all the starfish back in the ocean that were washed ashore. And there were thousands of them. And some guy walks up to him and says, well, you know, you can't possibly make a difference. So he re bends down and picks up a starfish, throws it in the ocean. Says, I made a difference to that one. And I, I think that's all we can do as people is try to make a difference. You know, any way we can, a, a good, positive difference. And you're obviously not going to be able to save everybody. We got a turtle. Is that a turtle or is that just a piece it's of moth? Here. All right, I got my baggy britches on, so don't laugh. I'm going to hike them up before I get out. this for a second. I have to put my seatbelt on. I don't really want to, but I don't want to be robbed by road pirates either. So. Okay, made a difference to that one. Go in them woods, bud. Funny how stuff like that kind of falls in your lap sometimes. And it's crazy to me how many people will see a turtle in the road and just leave it there. You should get out, pick it up, and move it off the road. It only takes a few minutes, if that. Did I look goofy? What? Robert Formerly known as James says I don't look goofy, but she's probably lying. <laughs> Say my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's alright though. It's okay. I'm old though. I don't care. You get to a certain age, you just don't care. I think 50 is that age. It was for me anyway. Like, I don't care, I'm 50. I I'm allowed to be goofy. I don't have to be suave and cool and all that. I can just be a straight up doofus. Okay, and this is Sleepy Hollow Road we just turned on to. And when I was a little kid, yes, I thought that was very neat. Because I thought that headless horseman lived out here. Clearing some land for something. What I don't know. That will definitely be uh, residential. And speaking of potato chips, I uh, had made a video out this way. They're building something here too, as well. But construction has not started at all there. Now, just like a couple of blocks from right here, we've made it to Highway 315, by the way. 
right here I made a video showing a building being built and I had thought that it was going to be uh, something commercial but it turns out it's just a house and I know because we stopped and asked the construction crew out there. And this right here would be the, the house. I had really thought they were building some kind of a store or something out there, but it's just a house. And since it's just a house, there's no need to go any further with updates on it. But I really was hoping they were putting like a some kind of a new business up. You know, that's the one bad thing I can say about living in, in the woods, is that if you want anything, you got to drive for it. I wish we had more shopping and stuff out here in, in that vein. Look at that clean, pretty blue sky. Look at that pretty. You know, you could take your family to the movies and spend all kinds of money on tickets and snacks and sodas. Or you could just put this video on on your Roku. A fraction of the cost. A sliver of a fraction of the cost. Okay, there's our Hog Wild Burgers and Shakes. Followed by the Interlocking Veterinary Clinic, Shelton. I, the driver from we noticed James told me that Dr. Shelton passed away. Was that like two years ago? Longer than that? How long ago? Anyway, he passed away a great while ago. I didn't even know that. And you said Dr. Jeff had passed away too? I like them. They were both all right. We're now coming up into the metro area of Interlochen. We have to go to the Dollar General, so we're going to just end the video there. And I'm sure I've mentioned it many times in my videos, but right in front of us. And I'll give it a little zoom in. That is the oldest wooden schoolhouse still in use in America. And it is used as a JRTC building. Oh, and look here, we got the fireworks stand is out. It's back again. And there is your Circle K, or maybe some strange things could be afoot later on today, I don't know. But not now. Taco Bell, still not, still not open. Okay, and I guess this is going to do it for this video. A good long one. I don't think I'm going to be able to put this all up at once. I'm going to have to do it in two parts, I'm sure. And we're going to run into this Dollar General right fast. And pick up a few things. And, uh... I will say hi to all the crazy cat food ladies for each of my viewers out there. I'm sure they're in there. They got the carts piled high with it. And you know, I tease, but I love the crazy cat ladies. So They are the salt of the earth. Dollar General. Which, as I've said before, also used to be a Walmart community market or neighborhood market, something like that. Then Walmart bailed on us, and Dollar General took over, which is why this Dollar General has gas pumps, and very few other Dollar Generals do. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I really hope that if you're struggling going to sleep, this will be a nice sleep aid for you. Just put it on and conk out, I'm sure, after the first five minutes. All right, everybody, we will see you Saturday. Not sure what we're doing or where we're going, but we'll try to do something, something nice. So for me and the driver formerly known as James, a.k.a. Jeff Gordon, I am Plastic Pimps, a.k.a. the Interlocking Blueberry King. 
and we'll see y'all next time. Peace.